Hello and welcome to Boiler House Garage. This is part four of my series testing for ethanol in super unleaded petrol, but it is the first test since the UK's E10 mandate and a revisit of Shell V Power 99 octane for that same reason. So you don't have to see the previous videos with perhaps the exception of part three, which just explains the testing method that I'm using here. I'm buying a gallon of V-Power from Shell in Highworth just outside Swindon which as you can see on the pump is marked E5. This petrol station like most completely ran out of fuels during the panic up buying a fortnight ago so this should be a fresh batch. Let's see if now unlike before it is 5% ethanol if it's still ethanol free. Ah, professional quality as ever. There's a bit of an issue here with the ink used on these cheap cylinders. It comes from China. Some drops of petrol got onto it and my hands and it has removed the ink where my thumb has touched. Thankfully these have the measured label uh, levels moulded into them so we can still be reasonably accurate. However they're a bit harder to see on camera so I'll just have to move in a bit closer to them. Now that the level is settled we have exactly 700 millilitres of petrol. I'll move it around again so you can see the levels as I'm adding the water. As explained in the previous video, we're pouring 700 millilitres of petrol in this one litre cylinder to add 300 millilitres of water to it. If this is E5, the 300 millilitre water level will actually raise to 333 millilitres. And this is because 35 millilitres is 5% of the 700 millilitres of petrol. At first glance there has been no change indicative of zero ethanol content I'm pleased to say but I'll give it a light swirl around and leave it for an hour as some suggested that I do mentioned in the previous video. I personally don't think uh, that it will make much difference as we should see the immediate results of ethanol sort of passing murkily into the water and the complete extraction within minutes but once I've done the E10 test in the next video we'll have a control um, test to see how the ethanol actually behaves and what the extraction looks like. For now I'm convinced this latest batch of V-Power is still completely free of ethanol and I'm going to pour the rest of this into my 1977 Cavalier which is currently on fumes and I've just fitted a brand new carburetor. Uh, its running issues may well have been caused by it being run on E5 in the past and now I'm not using it every day I don't want to have ethanol sat in the float chamber. So coming back an hour later, has the level changed? Surprisingly Shell for a long time refused to give an answer on which of its fuels were ethanol free, so Classic and Bike Clubs opted for SO who were more clear about it. But no, it's exactly as it was before and we can confirm that Shell, Shell V Power is ethanol free despite the E5 label. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see the next video where, as mentioned, I'll be testing E10 from either Shell or SO. But I also pass the Texaco garage twice a week while I'll be able to get a sample of their Supreme 97. SO, who called their 97 octane super unleaded Supreme, have now branded it Synergy Supreme Plus 99. Uh, I'll be disappointed if I find it to be E5 as their marketing team should be aware of the preference classic car clubs had given to them. But for now, thanks very much for watching.